not good today I hope uh, it's going to work because it is Sunday and too many users so we hope it's going to be fine and I will try my best not to stay for long please let me know if the voice is coming good and uh, no voice am I heard some of you saying there's no voice hold on that would be interesting why there's no voice am I heard all right so why somebody was saying no voice all right uh, our topic today is very simple I will try to make it short as uh, soon as I can if, to finish it I mean you know short video by Christian Prince God knows how long it's going to be but uh, we will try to make it short in the Quran chapter 3 verse number 61 this is a verse about Muhammad uh, debating the Christians and this has given us a great example how Islam understand something called debate debate in Islam is not you uh, say something I answer you back no debate in Islam is cursing each other if anyone dispute in this matter what matter the matter about Jesus who is the one who dispute about Jesus the Christians if anyone dispute about this matter with thee, which means Muhammad, now after all, uh, after the knowledge, knowledge, what knowledge, has come to thee, say, come, come, let us gather together our sons and your sons, our women and your women, our slaves and your slaves, then let us uh, earnestly pray and invoke the curse of Allah in the one who lie. <laughs> that's why I say that the founder of the Quran and his prophet both of them they suffer from mental illness Allahu al-Ghabi alladhi laysa hunaka aghba minhu how this can be from God so if somebody will dispute with you about Jesus, you say to him, let us curse. Okay, your turn. So now if a Muslim, you see the Muslim, they lie to us when they say uh, we have a debate. They don't debate. It's not even Islamic to debate. This is why always they have a strategic plan. And the strategic plan is to practice what Muhammad, he accused others to do, which is to lie. Because you see, when you are guilty, you think everyone is guilty like you. Guilty with what? Guilty with lies. Now think about this. If an Indian guy, and he is a Hindu, and he said to me, I believe in my religion to be the truth. He is not lying. He is not. Because the word lie is you knowing it's wrong, and you say the opposite. You know what I mean? Lying is not when you say a belief, even if the belief is wrong. If somebody believes that the rock is, uh, is God, he is not lying to me about his belief. His belief is wrong, yes, but he is not lying. You, you know what I mean? Here we understand that the one who made this verse is an idiot. He is trying to escape debating the Christians he cannot refute them he cannot answer them he, he's, just, he's just an idiot he's the idiot of the village so I cannot refute you I cannot show you that you are wrong so let us make a cursing party and Allah will curse the one is lying but hold on Allah will curse only those who invoke Allah so if you lie but you didn't invoke Allah Allah will not curse you do you see how many mistakes we see in this stupid story here? Because based on uh, uh, the verse, today I will expose this Arab CP idiot. Uh, how are you, Bladava X? Please feel free to expose me. I'm, I'm, you know, what you would do? You will invoke Allah to curse the one is lying? <laughs> 
Anyway, so look here how many mistakes in a very simple uh, 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 delivery from the one he called him Allah, which is nothing but Muhammad himself fabricating the verse. Number one, he is inviting them to invite their women and their children and their slaves. What does this have to do with the debate? What is what this guy is talking about? Let us gather together. Okay, I understand that. Our sons and your sons, but Muhammad don't have sons. Our women and your women, but those are uh, Christian priests, they don't have wives. What sons and what wives? And even if they have, what does this have to do with the debate? Okay, are we going to debate if we bring our wives and your wives, our sons and your sons? Who is going to debate in this in this debate? Who, me and you or uh, our kids? And then he add the more stupidity, ourself and yourself, you, you already you said gather together. What do you mean ourself and yourself? I mean, do you see how silly this talk is? Already you said gather together, then you repeat the same saying ourself and yourself. Isn't it gathered together is the same as ourself and yourself? <laughs> Have you ever heard of a foolish statement more than this? And then he is asking the Christian who don't believe in Allah to invoke Allah curse on them if they are lying or the one is lying. <laughs> it's like asking a Hindu, I uh, please, okay, you want to debate me, brother? Okay, invoke uh, invoke uh, Jesus to curse you if you are lying, but he don't believe in Jesus. What do you mean invoke Jesus? He, he don't believe in Jesus. Secondly, are you saying that Allah will not curse me unless I invoke him? So if I lie about him, Allah will curse me only if I invoke him to curse me. Hello Allah, please I want you to curse me if I am lying. If I don't make this call, Allah will not curse me. <laughs> that is the Quran, yes. That is the fufu, silly, stupid book of a dummy Muhammad. If this is a book made by God, so what is made by a stupid idiot, the Pink Panther? What, what is this? And then he says, and this is, uh, look at the translation here. This is, is the true account. Okay, hold on. It doesn't say that in Arabic. It says, What does that mean? This is the uh, punishment of Allah. What account? This is what Allah will do to you. He will curse you. And there is no God but Allah. Okay, now, so you prove to them by making cursing party. And this is the story of Allah. This is the true account of Allah. This is, should be the punishment of Allah. Muhammad, when he talked, he have a very childish uh, uh, mentality. I, I don't know which translation we can change to, but let us see. The true narrative of Allah. Okay, what the true narrative? The true story of Allah. This is a, this is a story, Al Qasas. But if Allah, if the one who speaks good Arabic, if you want to say it clearly, he should say this is Al Qasas. This is the punishment because he asked for cursing. So where is the cursing party? What happened after? After now we ask for the cursing. Allah is going to curse them or not?
And then you will see more stupid stories. Like now he is saying, this is the story of Jesus. But he did not tell us the story of Jesus. What is the story? What is the story of Jesus here? You know, because the Quran is uh, 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 was not written like this. The Quran was letters. And most of it is not even connected. And they used to didn't have a dot. And they don't have tashkil. So there is no way that this is about story of Jesus. This is, must be the punishment of those who say story or say something about Jesus or they claim something about Jesus. And then he, he says, all people of the scriptures, which mean Jewish and Christians, why you, you dispute about Abraham while the Torah and the, uh, uh, the Torah and the Injil were not revealed until after him. I mean, look at this idiot. So the one who came after, he cannot dispute about the one who came before. That's mean Muhammad, he cannot dispute about the Christians and the Christian cannot dispute about the Jews. Which means Muhammad, he cannot dispute with any of them because he is the last. You know what I mean? Isn't Muhammad is the last? So if if I am a person based on this verse, the one who came after he cannot dispute about the one who came before. Very simple, very clear. Okay, we got it. But Muhammad he got himself busted because he is the last one. He's the last one. Very clearly proved that Muhammad is an idiot and he's stupid. He did not tell us the story about Jesus. Where is the story about Jesus? Where is the story? The whole Quran speaks about Mary, she delivered a son, and he is he have no father. Okay. And where is the story? What is the book of Jesus? The Quran even failed to quote any chapter or even one verse from Jesus. All what we have that Allah asked Jesus, did you ask me to ask, uh, did you tell your people to worship me and your mother? But this is not a verse from what Jesus said. This is a conversation Muhammad is creating about Jesus and Allah is talking. But where is the where is the teaching of Jesus? Nothing. And when the Quran says that this is the story of Jesus, he's making a mistake because this should be and this is the punishment about claim you made for Jesus because he just are for for a curse. So I believe that this is the word here. Is not al qasasu it should be al qasas the true penalty and there is many many examples in the quran where the quran uh, or the writers of the quran they get the word wrong the verse before is saying that allah will make a curse at those who lie okay what is the curse what happened? Did Allah answer Muhammad to curse the Christian and the Jews? Let me show you a different example. Muhammad is like a, a grandma from the Middle East trying to scare you to believe in him. Uh, <clears throat> if Allah want he can transform you into animals 
And if it had been our will, we could have transformed them into animals. Okay, hold on. But in different verse, he said, he threat, he said he wouldn't make it, he would do it. To who? To the Christians. Read it. All who you have been giving the scriptures, the Jews and the Christians, believe in what we have revealed to Muhammad, confirming what is already with you. And here and here will prove that Muslims they lie to us when they say that the Bible is corrupted and the Quran says so, because the Quran is saying confirming what is with you. Do you see it? Quran confirm what? What is with you? If the Bible is corrupt, how you confirm what with us? That will be that will make it that Allah Himself and Muhammad is a corrupt person. You know what I mean? So this is why I say the word there it should be the penalty for those who take this invoke, not a story as the word saying in Arabic al qasas So I believe that they wrote this word wrongly there, and they 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 they, they uh, uh, as many verses in the Quran there is many close words because there is no tashkil there is no. Uh, there's no dots, there's no etc. And they get them wrong. And here Muhammad is threatening the Christians and the Jews. If you don't believe in me, I will do to you the same as I did to the Jews. Not only that, I will efface your faces between two brackets by making them like the back of necks without nose, mouth, eyes, etc. Okay, they did not believe in Muhammad. And a Muslim, he might say, oh, this is what will be happening in the judgment day. No, hold on. It says, and turn them inward or curse them as we cursed the, 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 the Sabbath breakers. Uh, Sabbath breaker, they cursed them before, not in the judgment day. So this is, was a threat which Allah will do immediately if they don't believe. Did Allah erase the faces of the Christians or this was a lie? So here we go, Muhammad is asking for invoking. <laughs> and nothing happened. Claiming that Allah will erase the faces of the Christians if they don't believe in Muhammad teaching. He will make their faces with no, without mo nose, without mouth, without eyes, without ears. He will turn them hidewards. Or, other option, he will make them pigs and monkeys, as he did to the people of the Sabbath. Any Muslim have anything to say? anyone obviously Muhammad is a fraud because he threatened that Allah would do this to you and nothing happened nothing happened have you ever seen any of those who they came to Muhammad or any story says that those Christians who don't believe Muhammad Allah, he made them pigs and monkeys or he erased their faces. They did not believe in Muhammad. Not a single word. Hmm? Any Muslim have a response? Let me look at Skype to see if there's any Muslim who would like to call us. <clears throat> hmm. 
Okay. <clears throat> if you are a Muslim, you'd like me to call you, please just text me. Don't call right away, just text me, I will call you back. So we don't have many people calling in the same time, and that would be annoying. If you are a Muslim interested to talk about this topic, please let me know, just text me, and I will be happy to hear you. All right. <clears throat> My Skype is open. And I'm waiting for a Muslim caller. Any Muslim. Big, small, doesn't matter. Actually, I prefer you to be a big scholar with big beard. And I prefer you if you are a person who is very knowledgeable and you can get me busted. Anyone? I mean, what you will lose? You will call me, you will get me busted, and you will get the blessing from Allah. What the problem? Why Allah, he say things and he is not incapable of doing it? This is a verse been said 1400 years ago and Allah, he said it clearly, I will do to you the same as I did to the people of the Sabbath, which is a threat will be done right after they broke the Sabbath, not in the, in the judgment day. Who is the Christian who Allah erase his faces? Hmm? Any Muhammadan? Just text me, please, and I will call you. In my way to ex Muslim, I need some help. Okay, I don't know what this person wants. We'll see. Hello? Hello? Hey. You are, hey what, yes, we are live on air, my friend. What do you want to say? Hello? Yes, we are live on air. What do you like to say? Hello? All right. Any Muslim? Hello? Hello? Yes, you are live on air. Go ahead. What do you like to say? Hello? Hello? Yes, you are live on air, my friend. Go ahead. Yeah, hey, Christian Prince. Um, Tanzil. I'm from like. I'm Indian. All right. Yeah, I need some like I need some help. I can not speak that much English, but I can understand. All right. How I can help you? Yeah. Uh, I just need some help on that violent words of the cross. About what? Say again. Violence word on Quran. Word? That every violence verses, I think, yeah. Verses? What verses? Violent verses is like nine twenty nine by those who do not believe in Allah. Just like that. Hmm. So 
when I reached out to my mom, he said just that Christian Prince is lying and that Roman was attacking. So I tried not to listen to him, but I came to you. Mm. So well, the first okay. Well, when when this person says to you, Christian Prince is lying. Well, he yeah. tell him, okay, what reference you can show me that the Roman they attack the prophet? Tell him, ask him, what reference, Islamic reference, says that the Roman is the one who attacked the prophet? Because Muslims, they admit in their books uh, that the prophet, he sent the three letters to three kings saying convert or else. Yeah, I, so, told, him, I told him, I told him about this, but they said, no, this are fabrication, this... Okay, uh, okay, fabrication. Okay, give me the story, my friend. Okay, give me, give me the story. If you go to chapter 9, verse number 49, you will see that the Islamic interpretation for this verse saying that Muhammad, he said to the Muslims, attack the Roman so you can get the blondie girls. Attack the Roman. Hmm? Really? Oh, yeah. Urzu, Urzu, a rune, Tarnabu, Banat al Asfar. Attack the Roman, and uh, let me show you uh, uh, show you the reference. Because we don't like wow. to say things. And then a guy from his followers, he said to him, "Don't don't tempt me with women. Don't tempt me to do jihad for the sake of women." You know. And now the Muslims they have their they have their own uh, uh, fabrication to to uh, to solve this problem, but we can get them busted easy, you know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and let like, me let me show let me show the reference for everybody, so everybody can see we are not making things up, and we will show it to you from Islamic websites, official Islamic website, not Christians, not Jews, not Hindus, uh, you know, uh, very yeah, yeah, yeah. very uh, uh, very official. Let me let me get you. I will try to find it from the official government website of the government of Saudi Arabia or the government of uh, uh, of Jordan. So they don't say, you know, we are making things up. You know them. Hmm. Here we go. This is this is the official government website of the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Everybody know this website. All right. And I will show I will show the website in the screen. Do you see the address in the screen? Quran yeah, yeah, yeah. ksu.education.sa tafsir at tabari. So this is tafsir at tabari. Okay, what at tabari says? I'm going to read in Arabic and then I'm going to translate using Google translation so everybody can see. قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم إغزو تبوك تغنموا بنات الأصفر ونساء الروم. The Prophet of Allah he says attack Tabuk. This is where the Roman, the border of the Roman with the with the Arabian Peninsula was. Attack Tabuk, where is the Roman settlement, and then you will get the blondie girls and the women of the Roman. Let us trans let us translate this page into English using Google translation, as it is live on air, so nobody says. Uh, it doesn't say it doesn't say that CP it doesn't say that CP. let's see translate into English be my witness everybody translate into English I'm not going to translate I will use Google translation automatic there's no way I can tell Google what to say right translate into English and you yeah, can see it yeah. live here we go all right let us see what the prophet he said <clears throat> Uh. Read it. This is the Google translation, the stupid Google translation. Conquer the book. Conquer the book. Take advantage of the daughters of the yellow, which means the blonde. And the Roman women. Do you see it? Yeah, 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 I do see it. Hmm. So when when the when your Imam he said to you such a lie, obviously he is a donkey and we gave him certification with B B B H D in line. Oh god. 
Yeah. This is the book of um, Atabari. This is the official the government Israeli. website of the government of Saudi Arabia. They don't work for me. This is the most most fanatic, crazy people about Islam who want to kill you for saying one word about Muhammad. And this is their website. Oh, and this is Atabari. And this is the interpretation and the story written by their hands. Is this real though? <laughs> yeah. It's really about women. Like, yeah, uh, no, not only women. Get the blondie. Uh, you know, he's seducing them by the blondie. And then one of the women, one of the guys, he said to them, him, "Leave us alone, man. Don't seduce us by women." <laughs> and Muhammad, he claimed that the one who said that he is a hypocrite. He's trying to fight an excuse not to go for war. He's saying, "Oh, you are tempting us by women. You know, I don't want to go. I am. I'm, I'm tempted easy by women. I don't want to go for war for women." Hmm? And it's the official website from that. Yeah. Saudi Arabia. Yeah. This is what it is. I'm going to post the link actually uh, in uh, in the in the chat so everybody can have an access to it, and you can use your own Google translation from your side. And this is, as you see, the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. This is government website. Um, what's your thought on that scientific scientific? errors on the Quran like what is it what about what scientific error on the Quran in the Quran my friend the Quran they have no error the Quran is a book of science what are you talking about the Quran is the only book discovered that women have a sperm coming from the testic from the, from the breast I mean that's amazing you know <laughs> oh my God. yeah this is why you <laughs> you if you are married you better be careful your wife she have a breast testicles according to the Quran <laughs> so what are you talking about what error the Quran have no error So I'm not sure now. Are you are you a Muslim, my friend, or you are not a Muslim? Yeah, I'm like I was Muslim. Oh, so you left Islam? Do you, you leave Islam now yeah, or before? Like, but I need some like some. I have some doubts on like I have really some doubts. What 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 make you what this. what make you leave Islam, my friend? What, when you leave Islam? When you left Islam? Uh, if you remember that hadith, like. Um, where the prophet says, I don't remember, but let me explain to you. When the prophet says, Okay, but how, how long ago you left Islam? I will, uh, I just need confirmation that he teaches violence. So you did not leave Islam yet. Yes, you are making, you are thinking now to make decision to leave Islam, correct? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what do you want? What do you what do you want more than this? A prophet of God. He is not asking them to do jihad for the sake of Allah. He's asking them to attack the Romans so they can get the blonde girls. And that's why I did not join the jihad with Muhammad because I don't like blonde girls. I like dark skin. If Muhammad he said attack the the uh, let us say uh, the Mexican, you know, I will go. Because they, they, you know, they have a black hair. I like a black hair, brother. I don't like blonde girls. So Muhammad, he, he needed to change, to change his strategic plan, my friend. But because those are Arab who like blonde women, so he is tempting yeah, them. Uh, attack the Romans so you can get videos. the blonde girls. Yeah, I have seen so many times in your videos, and like, all I know about that hadith so much. Like that of Christmas, like so bad. It's so bad to hear. But when I reached out to my imam and showed him, then he told me, like, no, it's again in a defensive zone. Okay, why you don't it's ask your imam? Why you don't, why you don't say to your imam, my friend? Why do you don't say to him? Okay, why you don't call this Christian prince and I will watch? I want, tell him, I want you to call him and get him busted. After saying this, after saying this, I honestly don't want to believe them. I don't want to, because... I already know, like they are lying. They're using like yes. Like, well, as you see, yeah, exactly. Like, as you see, whatever I say, I show on the screen. Still, the Muslim they accuse me of lying. I'm showing it in the screen. They say liar. It doesn't say that, CP. It doesn't say that, CP. I mean, it's in the screen. It, you're lying. It doesn't say that, CP. So the only way to get out of from the stupidity of Islam is to say you are lying. But the fact they are the one is lying. It's obvious. It's in front of us. I never say something without showing it in the screen. And post this, and yeah, the website. Do do Islam support uh, child marriage? Do really sure, Islam you know if you go if you okay if you go to chapter sixty five verse number four, 
This verse about divorce, divorcing kids. So the Muslim they say no, no CP. It's not about that CP. Okay, hold on. Let us see if it's about that or not. Give me a second. Okay. Hmm. I will not let you hang up unless you like until you uh, you announce that you left Islam. So you are you are in trouble now. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, thinking about leaving this curse. Yeah, okay. Let us see. This is the Quran, and this is the interpretation. I will put it on the screen. So, when a Muslim he says, We don't marry children, hmm? so you divorce children, but you don't marry them? Okay. <laughs> I mean, have you ever heard of a Quran verses saying, Divorce children, but don't marry children? That would be stupid, isn't it? it so this is the Quran and this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan Tafsir Jalalain, talking about divorcing women and divorcing who, women suppose they are women but not all of them they are women there are some they are children how we knew it says uh, uh, when you divorce your wives some of them they might have no period no more because they became maybe old because the Quran insist that you have to wait for a three month period after you divorce your wife which is stupid because why i want to wait for a three month period to be sure that the wife she is not carrying a child you do not need that i mean one month is enough uh, two month is more than enough three months for what but muhammad is stuck with number three ag again trinity and then he says All right. and for those who they have no period why they don't have a period read carefully and also for those who have not yet ministrated because of their young age their period shall be three months look how stupid he is if they have no ministration that's mean they cannot uh, uh, can carry a baby they cannot they cannot get pregnant right if a woman she don't yeah. have menstruation a woman she a, 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 a female she cannot get pregnant so when the stupid allah he says even the one who don't have ministration because of their young age, because they are children, still they have to wait for three months. I mean, this is stupid. They will not carry a, ch a child anyway. They will never have a child. They will never be able to have a child. Yeah. Here you see the stupidity of the Quran. So they lie to you. Yeah. They say, "Oh, we don't, we don't allow marrying children, but we divorce them." Well, isn't it Muhammad? He married a child. She was six years old. Aisha. Yeah. But yeah. They often say that he, she wasn't like eight years old, she was two or like... Yeah, actually, you know, I, I uh, when I was in the Middle East, when I was in the age of six, uh, uh, my girlfriend, she was uh, uh, five years old and she had big boobs and uh, she was uh, mature. Yeah, mm, yeah, that's only in Islamic world happened, only, you know, yeah. And not only that, actually, she had two kids before she met me. My first girlfriend, she was six years old. I was five years old, and I, this, I think five years old, yeah, I think I was five years old, she was six years old, and she had two kids from previous guy. <laughs> yeah. Actually, the Muslim even, they say that Aisha, she was engaged at the age of four from a previous person before Muhammad. I mean, Aisha, she was really horny. She cannot stay without a man. At the age of four, she is dating, going around. She go to the club, she drink beer, she date men, they go in the back of the seat of the car, they do kissing and uh, 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 play uh, uh, basketball. Uh, uh, Aisha, she is a growing woman at the age of four. What are you talking about? No? Uh, uh, like, for me, she was married before the prophet. No, not married. She was supposedly engaged. Not married. She was dating around, engaged only. Yeah, she no. So, according to Muslim, she is virgin. Oh, so that prophet. Yeah, but Aisha, by the way, the she's a very good woman too. Aisha, she used to decorate women, uh, uh, slaves, slave women. She put makeup yeah. on them, you know, and she sent them in the street so she can get young youth to sleep with them. Aisha, she used to decorate women and send them in the street. Slave uh, women. Okay. And um, what 
about that hadith that when the Prophet was sleeping with the his no, wait, let me, let me show you Let me show you this one first before we continue. Because they might say, It doesn't say that, CP. Yeah, let me see. This one is all like, it's really disgusting. No one, like, really, no one can support that. Like, <clears throat> honestly, see, yeah. no, no real man can support that. No way, man. Marrying a child and telling someone that it was okay for it. Nice. All right, let's see here. I'm just trying to find a reference for the hadith I mentioned. In English, if not, then I have to show it in Arabic. Let us see here. Yeah, I will find the hate. Anyway, my friend, so did you decide to leave Islam or not yet? support this anymore for real. Okay, so you are out of Islam now? Are you? Did you decide to leave Islam? Um, it's hard, but... What is hard? You like you like to follow uh, someone like Muhammad? No, obviously I don't support child marriage. Okay. What about beating wife? Do you like your father to beat your, your mother? Yeah, this one I told my mom, and he told me like you supposed to beat her lightly, not on the face, or if she is trying to. So if your dad you he like beat that. your mother lightly, is okay for you? Yeah, what? If your father he did beat your mother lightly, is that okay? No. Okay, so what lightly mean? I mean lightly or not lightly is an insult. Secondly, where in the Quran it says lightly? Nowhere. Number three, the hadith says that a man he did beat his wife until he made her skin greener than her clothes. Then the prophet says to him, the prophet of Islam, the false prophet, says to him, shame on you to do so? No. Actually, there's a hadith where Muhammad, he said uh, that the women who complain about uh, women beating, yeah. they are bad. Let me see if I can't find the hadith. Give me a second. <clears throat> Remind me to, to put the hadith, the one about... Uh, let us see here. You see, I don't like to say a hadith without showing reference, otherwise they will say it's not true. You know them. So we better show it. Okay. Give me a second. And for sure, they will say this is Da'if Hadith, don't forget. Anything, anything look embarrassing, stupid, bad. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it is, yeah, for it's sure, it is, important. it's not true. Yeah. Uh, Until now, I could not find the hadith in English, so it looks like I have to show it in Arabic. So let us see. Uh, like, let us go to the Arabic I part. Some, like, I have some more questions about that. Mm, 
the heart is really pain or not. Like, I'm really struggling with this. I'm like, I'm on my way, but some things just taking me back in. Why is taking you back? I mean, uh, Islam is a stupid, and uh, what what more ugly than this? Look, I'm going to show it to you in the screen. This is the Hadith. This is the book. is called Al Musannaf, Kitab al Nikah, Al Nukah. Uh, uh, what they saw, what they said about a woman, they they show her around. A woman, they show her around as a slave woman. Hadithana Abu Bakr Qala, uh, etc. Ana 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 an from 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 that Aisha. إنها شوفت جارية وطافت بها وقالت لعلنا نصطاد بها شباب قريش. Okay, translation. I'm going to use Google translation. Aisha she get a slave girl. She decorated her, which means she put nice clothes, sexy, sexy clothes, uh, uh, makeup, etc. And she sent her so she can hunt some men of Quraysh. All right. Uh, here that she have. Uh, uh, she she decorated a, a female maid, a slave, and walk her around so she can get the young one of Quraysh. Do you see it? Yeah. No, this is the hadith, and this is the uh, this is the Google translation. And have, I have nothing to do with it. And this is Islamic Library website, the Library of Islam Islam dot uh, Islam web dot net, and the book is Al Musannaf. You know. Now we go to the second hadith. You see, many people are texting me. Ah, oh, there's no screen. Sorry, somebody's saying there's no screen. Okay. Uh, thank you then for texting me. I thought somebody texted me just to bother. All right, this is the hadith. Here we go. This is the Islamic library, as you see. And this is the hadith yeah, translated right. translated by a, a Google. Aisha, she had she got a female slave maid and walked her around after decorating her, and she said. Maybe we hunt young, the young of Quraysh, the young men of Quraysh, Shabab. Shabab in Arabic mean, uh, you know, the young um, uh, adult men of Quraysh. All right. So Aisha, she is decorated. Here, look at this hadith here, continue. That they, they passed by a female slave who had decorated. And he said, so he called her, etc. Anyway, so like the hadith is reported. And this is the book. And this is the reference. The Muslim they will say this is a this is a weak hadith for sure it's a weak hadith anything is embarrassing because they will not accept that such a story really is done by Aisha this is very embarrassing so the only solution is to say uh, it's a lie it's not true the one who said this story is a liar a brother you know yeah now let us see the other hadith the one I asked you that I told you about yeah. uh, the women who complain about beating those are the worst women for the Prophet of Allah. A, a good woman, a decent woman, she shall not complain if her husband did beat her. Let me get the reference. Give me a second. And we made a videos about this uh, uh, reference before. Let us see. Well, I have heard this one before, like, yeah. From your channel, no, it's from like David Sword channel. All right. Yeah, David Wood channel is a good channel to watch. It's good for you. Oh, let us see. I'm trying to find the reference. Give me a second. Sometimes when you want something, that's it. It's hard to find it. <laughs> and if we mention it and we don't show it, they will say, see, he did not show it. He must be lying. Channel and like, um, uh, there was a guy. What is his name? Like, 
for Evie who made a video about you, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, I cannot yeah, find I it in English, but uh, I promise you I will find it before we close today. Uh, so everybody can see right. the hadith. So anyway, the, the hadith okay. was saying that the women, they, they came to the Prophet, uh, they, sorry, uh, me, uh, like people, they came to the Prophet and they said that women, they are complaining about uh, women beating. The Prophet said that those women are not the best of your women. They are not the best of your women because women who complain about beating, obviously, they are not the best of Muslim women. Obviously, for Muhammad. Yeah. So to be a good woman for Muhammad is you should you have to be uh, a woman who uh, your husband beat you, and that will make you a good woman, uh, perfect woman for Muhammad. Let us see. <laughs> yeah, I will find it and I will put it later on the screen. Anything else, my friend? Do you, like, so what, what, like, what is the conclusion now? Are you going to, uh, did you decide to leave Islam or not yet? Yeah. All right, that's wonderful. I can't accept, I can't, I just want my answer, I don't want lies, like, my Imam lied to me, like, so many times, I know, but this child marriage was, I was really confused about this, and you really saved me from going to that darkness. Yeah. Yeah, they, they send me a hadith about don't uh, a man should be, not be asked about beating his wife, but it's not the one I'm looking for. There's a hadith where it says that uh, uh, the women who question beating, they are not the best of your women. They are not good. You know? Yeah, I will find this hadith. Yeah, because... Uh, 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 There's so many things to explore, by the way, and they are really hiding it. So you you live in India, my friend, now? Yeah, I'm from India. Okay. Because I can't I can't tell my name, bro. All right, no problem. Don't say your name. I'm not asking for your name. Yeah. Anyway, my friend, I'm I'm happy to have you. <laughs> and uh, if you can, if you, English is bad, bro. Yeah. Uh, uh, if you can challenge this guy who is supposed to be the imam. Uh, Challenge him. Tell him, well, you know, if you are really sure that you can, uh, you, yeah. you have, you have the truth. So what you will do is call this guy, and we Muslims will listen to you. And I like, I'm, you know, uh, many people live in Islam because they are listening to him. And you know, you better do something, yeah. because if you don't do something, uh, uh, you know, people will will leave Islam. So you better call him, you know, show that, uh, show everybody that uh, uh, he's lying. Yeah. He's not telling the truth. Uh, just saying yeah. is wrong, etc. Like they make videos supposedly uh, against me, uh, but then don't dare to call me and show me that how I'm yeah. wrong. Right? It makes really sense. If if you are lying, then why don't they call you and they try to refute you or something like that? They are like. Telling me that you are lying, but they are, don't dare to call you. That really doesn't make sense. And why? Why you are lying? Why you are using their book? Yeah. Okay. Let's see now. Islam. Maybe maybe we are getting close to find the hadith. Oh, this hadith you, took me long to find it. You did it. Make it All right. Here we go. I found the hadith finally. Let me show it to you on the screen. This is. Muhammad talking, not me. And this is Sahih. So the Muslim cannot say 
lying, liar, da'if. It's not the true. It doesn't say that, ZB. I like this one that doesn't like ZB. Okay, so look at this. Uh, women, women, uh, Allah, he ordered the messenger, uh, 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 the Allah, he ordered the messenger to tell the Muslim to be the women. All right? So, Omar, but Omar, when he came, uh, uh, don't beat Allah and, and, and Median, but when, uh, when Omar came to the Messenger of Allah and said, women have become emboldened toward their husbands. He, the Prophet, gave a permission to beat them. Then many women came around the family of the Messenger of Allah complaining against their husbands. So the Messenger of Allah said, many women have gone around Muhammad family complaining against their husband they are not the best among you do you see it so women complain yeah. because now the women they make a revolution you taught our husband to beat us they came to muhammad house complaining to the wives of muhammad what's wrong with your husband why he is ordering the the, 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 the muslim men to beat us so they came to him and now muhammad is making it more clear that those women who complain about the husband beating, they are not the best of women, they are the bad women. And this is a Sahih Hadith. Here we go. And let me post it in the oh. chat. So later, if I, uh, I need it, uh, people can help me. Because sometimes it's very hard to find, you know, uh, reference uh, fast. It's not easy job, actually, you know, like uh, to... All right, guys, I apologize. Uh, my computer froze. I don't know what happened. I opened a Muslim website to read the Hadith, and suddenly, uh, you know, the computer froze. Look like they have a viruses there. So, uh, this is the Hadith. I hope my voice is coming good now. Is my voice coming good? Uh, let us hope so. Am I heard? Uh, look like yeah there is some problems maybe in YouTube I'm not sure uh, but anyway uh, uh, like let us say we are done for today uh, this is the hadith where uh, was I was trying to show you I don't know if you you get it or not uh, where Muhammad he made it clear that the women who complain women who complain about a husband beating them and he is the one who ordered them to beat them he said clearly that those women who complain about the husband beating the wives are not the good women. And as you see, this is a Sahih Hadith from Sunan Abi Dawood, Hadith number 2146. Uh, so what the Muslim can say to us more than this? All right. Anyway, we are we were happy for our friend who left Islam. And I hope people are learning and uh, getting the ideas and the knowledge and saving reference uh, for some reason maybe my computer is updating I'm not sure you know because it's taking uh, really um, too much uh, uh, don't worry I have a very good security so nobody can hack me uh, I mean what more what more anyone need to prove that Muhammad is nothing but a fraud everything he said is stupid Beating your wife will not make a, a better family. Beating your wife, proving two things. Number one, that you are a coward. Number two, that you are an idiot. Because if you think by beating your wife you fix the problem, you did not fix the problem. The problem is there and now your wife, she start hating you. And she will start teaching hate against you to her kids. Maybe she is weak, she cannot fight you back. The system is against her, the law is against her, Allah is against her, the filthy Muhammad is against her. But trust me, she will not give you a good family. This is not how you establish a family, by beating your wife. Wife beating is an act of a coward. Because obviously, you cannot make her do things to you unless you beat her. That means there is something wrong with you, not with her. And by the way, why you don't practice this with everybody in the street? Anyone who don't do what you like, beat him. Why you beat only your wife? I mean, look at this faithy logic. If the one who
who don't do what you like you, you, you the solution is beat him up why well, you don't go and beat people in the street then let us see how, how, how good are you you will get killed in two seconds right but because you are a coward you attack women who they are weak see Kabul is here who is see Kabul who is this uh, Kabul stuff I'm not sure what that mean. What ku Kubal mean? We have a person, his name is a pro uh, log. Okay, Mr. Prolog, are you a Muslim? The one reading for me from uh, uh, from the Old Testament. So what your religion says about a woman, she is not a virgin. As long as you don't like the Old Testament. Can you tell me? If a Muslim woman, she is not a virgin. What the Quran says about that? Hmm? And how you discover the virginity of a Muslim woman in Islam? Do you put them in the bathtub with some shampoo? And if there's bubbles coming out, that's mean they are not virgins? Where we can find the teaching of Islam about virginity? Do you want me to show you? Or you are a coward? The second we mention his name, so then suddenly he is dead. He played dead. You know, they go and copy verses from the Old Testament. First of all, you know, the Old Testament, we are talking about people who lived thousands and thousands of years ago. Thousands before Muhammad. Not 200 years ago. Secondly, when they have such a law, others don't have any law. And this is showing you how much the decency is important because a woman she is, a cheating about who is she and what she did she is a bad woman now the question is what is a solution if a Muslim woman let me show you a Muslim woman she sleep around A husband he came to the Prophet and he said to him my wife never say to no to a hand of a man to touch her which mean you know okay what is the solution look at the decency let me find the hate in English so we can love together What Muhammad he said to the man? Read and laugh. And you see the difference between the Old Testament which you are trying to make fun of and the decency of Muhammad. <clears throat> Let us see if we can find it in English. It should be in English actually. You will not believe it what Muhammad's solution is for a woman. She is a, a bad woman. She sleep around and she cheat in her husband. Look at this. If this is a Sahih Hadith, brother. Yes, brother. It is Sahih. Okay. What happened? 
a man came to the prophet and said my wife does not prevent the hand of a man who touch her and you know exactly what he meant by that okay what the prophet say he said to him divorce her the guy he said I'm afraid I like her Muhammad he said then enjoy her <laughs> So you know this is this is a this is a communist party uh, uh, sharing. Okay, the men they sleep with your wife, you like her. Okay, no problem in Islam. You can enjoy her, enjoy her with them. Do you see it? Where is the guy who is talking about the Old Testament? In the Old Testament, if a woman she is doing that, she will be killed. In Islam, the prophet saying, enjoy her with the rest of them. Hippie, are you there, Mr. Hippie? Enjoy her then. And remember, Muhammad is a ruler. Muhammad is not just giving an opinion. Whatever Muhammad he say, it's a law. This is why the Muslim they call themselves Sunnah. Which what Sunnah mean? They follow what Muhammad said and did. So by saying to this man, "Okay, enjoy her then," that is a license for Muslim women to go sleep around. And he did not mention, okay, bring her here, I will punish her, this is a shame, should not happen, blah, blah, blah. No. He is very relaxed. Prophet, my wife, she never said to say no to a man. Prophet said, divorce her. Uh, okay, that's a good solution. The guy, he said, well, I am afraid I cannot live without her. You know, I like her very much. She is hot and horny. The prophet said, then enjoy her. <laughs> yeah do you know the song about the don't worry be happy so if your girlfriend she is uh, if your wife she is sleeping around don't worry be happy share her enjoy her i mean you just wait in the turn she finished with the guys she is sleeping around with them you will be next enjoy her i mean why you complain what the pro what is it? what's your problem what's your problem hmm? what's your problem It doesn't say that, CP. It says, CP, that a man touch her. So are you saying to me in Islam, what men can touch women? Where did he touch her where exactly, brother? Let us guess where he touched her. Let us guess. He touched uh, her where, where, where? Uh, he touched her laptop. Hmm. He touched her iPad. This is Islam. And you are complaining about the Old Testament. Muhammad the hypocrite, when he was weak, he need people to believe. Whatever people want, he do. Touch her. Enjoy her. Enjoy him. Have sex. No problem. It's very easy. When Muhammad, he get power, this is different Muhammad. See the hypocrite? When Muhammad is a potato, he have no men to kill, yeah. Hey, enjoy her. He, he have no ethic. It is just a situation change when he is a king and when he is a prophet. When he is a prophet with no men to fight, enjoy her. Touch her. <laughs> you know? Yeah, enjoy her. And what the problem? Enjoy her together with them. How many they are? Ten? Seven? No problem. Actually, that will make you, uh, you don't have to bring food for the refrigerator. All the men who come to your house, they bring food with them. They just touch her, brother. It doesn't say they sleep with her. They just touch her, only touching. I don't know how I can. <clears throat> I don't want to put a picture in the screen, but let me see if I can find something a little bit decent only touch her because this is what they were saying they were saying it doesn't say sleep with her it, it doesn't she does not present a hand of a touch of a man hmm. all right
I'm just looking for a, a picture which is not uh, too much. No, no, not this one. Because by the way, kissing is a touching too. It's a li your lips touching the lips of the other person or other places, right? This is a touch. Kissing is touch. Oh man. We are trying to find something we can put in the screen. All of this research in this uh, website. Oh boy. Oh no. Oof. Meme. No. No, no. No way. We cannot find a decent, a uh, little bit, a little bit decent picture. We can put it in the screen. I mean, this is. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay. Um, okay. 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 I found a I found a picture which is a, a little bit acceptable. Hmm. A brother. He is just touching her. Brother. That is just touching. Enjoy her. This is your neighbor. This is your neighbor with your wife. Enjoy her. She never prevent a touch of a man. He's touching her. Only, brother. It doesn't say sexy brother. It says, uh, touch her. Very, very, very open-minded religion, my friend. It sounds like uh, Muhammad is a, a person who is uh, who study in Berkeley, and he is born in San Francisco, and he was the founder of the hippie movement. Actually, Muhammad, he must be hippie. There's a hadith, let me see if I can find it, where a Bedouin man, he asked Muhammad to sleep with Aisha. He want her. Muhammad the coward, because as we said, he don't have a power now. He said, but she is the mother of the believers. When the man he left, Aisha, she said, who is a man who can speak to you with such a, uh, such a way? Asking you to sleep with your wife. He said to her, He is a fool we have to obey. Which means, if he insists to have you, I will give you to him. Maybe Christian Prince is lying, brother. Who is a Muslim when I call me and get me busted? It doesn't say that, CP. <laughs> I mean, imagine. So this is why he don't have a problem for your wife to enjoy other men with you. Open-minded religion. This is his wife, Aisha, the guy. Look how rude he is. Saying to Muhammad, who is this woman? I like her. Mm, mean, sexy. She is sexy and you know it. And actually, we are going to use a, a book. We spoke about it lately. You know, when they said to me, it doesn't say in Fathil Bari in CP. Hmm? All right. Let us see first. I want to find the whole hadith. <laughs> this is, I will put it in the screen. This is the prophet of dignity. Actually, I should make a video about it alone. 
This is the book of Fethul Bari, Ibn Hajar, variant number 10, page number 380. You see the reference? So they cannot say, it doesn't say that, CV. Alright? Let me log off of Skype. There's no need for more calls. We are done for today. Otherwise, we will keep receiving text messages. <clears throat> All right, we are out of Skype. All right, so this is the reference. Fathul Bari, the book of Fathul Bari, the Ibn Hajar, very number 10, page number 380. A man he came to Muhammad and he told Muhammad, I will exchange my camel for your wife. What? I will what? My camel? What camel? Let us translate the hadith, which is really, I mean, uh, the Google translation will not give it really uh, very much accurate. But, eh, you know, let us do the Google translation, translation thing. I will zoom out. Translate to English. Let us see if the translation is accurate. Ah, stupid website flipped. Let us go Google again. Translate again. Uh, let us see where the story. And he's, you know, uh, uh, a man, he came to the prophet and he said, uh, he said to him, who is this, uh, you know, who is this woman? He said to him, this is Aisha, the mother of the believers. He said to him, what about I give you a camel, which means for her? Aisha, she got angry. And she said, uh, who is this guy who is saying that? Uh, Muhammad, he says, he is a, he is a foolish. In different hadith, it says, which means a, a, a foolish man we have to obey. Let me, let me find more reference. Hold on. He is a fool, we have to obey, and he is a leader of his people. Okay, let us open this website here. This is the book of Majma'u Zawaid wa Manba'u al Fawaid from Abu Huraira. Actually, let me see first if I can find it in English before we go here. In this hadith here, the man, he said to him, who is this blondie next to you? Because Aisha, she looked like she was a white girl. Uh, she have a blonde hair or she color hair blonde, I'm not sure. So he said to him, who is this red, red neck next to you? Muhammad, he said, this is Aisha, the mother of the believers. He says, uh, what if I exchange her for you? <laughs> now, 
the Muslim they might try to say to you, he, he did not say that, CP. Let us see. I will use Google Translation. Hold on. Google Translate. Hadith number 11279. Okay. The man, he came without permission. He entered the house of Muhammad. And then he asked Muhammad, who is she? Who is this uh, blondie next to you? Red neck. So he entered without permission. So the messenger of Allah said to him, uh, where is your permission? Uh, who, who did you get in? He got the house without permission. This guy is like, he don't care. And then he, uh, he, he, he said to Muhammad, who is this uh, red neck next to you? The message of Allah said, uh, this is Aisha, the mother of the believers. He said, shall I send you something better for her? You know, exchange, like I give you a camel. Do you exchange her for a camel? Then the man, he left. And Aisha, she said, who is this? Muhammad, he said, a foolish we have to obey. Ahmaqum muta'a. A fool to obey. He is the leader of his people. He is the master of his people. And in the hadith says that he have a 10,000 fighters. So Muhammad the coward, the man he offered to exchange the wife of Muhammad for a camel in his house. And the coward Muhammad, he did not get angry. The man he left, and then Aisha, she asked, who is this guy? He said, he is a fool we have to obey. For sure, the Muslim, they will say to you, a CP, it doesn't say that, CP. We know what's coming. But look, even in Google, stupid translation is coming fine. Right? Even in the crazy Google translation. Google, Google uh, suffer with translation in those books because they are using very old classic Arabic, which nobody re you know really use no more. No. Yeah, all those references actually speaking about the same story. The same story. Ahmaqum <laughs> Mutah. In different hadith, he says, as you see, he is the leader of his, his people. So what we can do? Hmm? <clears throat> All right. Well, at least if you are a Muslim and your wife, she never prevent the hand of a man. At least now you know what to do. Enjoy her. Don't worry. Join the club. You are a prophet of God, and supposedly you are supported by Allah and Jibreel and the angels, and yet he is afraid from a guy just because he is a leader of his people, he is a leader of a tribe, he's a Bedouin. So Muhammad, he was like a potato in front of him, even though the man he insulted his wife. All right. Anyway, guys, I think it's uh, for us time to go. I apologize that uh, today we have like some problem in the computer. Suddenly we lost uh, connection, but those things sometimes happen, as you know. Um, however, if you lost connection in your computer, enjoy her. <laughs> this is the best solution ever. And the Muslim will say to you, so what the Prophet can do? He told him divorce her. The guy, he said, I like her. The Prophet says, enjoy her. Oh, hold on. But your prophet here is allowing, is allowing and is approving women sharing. Isn't it your prophet, he says, the women who commit adultery stone her? Okay, how that can match with this? Why he didn't say go and uh, bring her? Let us see what's happening. What do you mean enjoy her? So by doing this, and you Muslim, you follow Sunnah, you follow the teaching of Muhammad. This is the teaching of Muhammad. By doing this, you Muslim are allowed to have a wife. She allow any man to come and touch her let us say it's touch not sex but what touch mean 
how it far how far it go right, this is touch this is nothing but touch my friend do you see touch this is touch her lips in his lips this is touch his hands around her waist this is touch this is touch this is nothing more than a touch So if you are saying to me, it's just about he allowed them that the, the wife can be touched by strange men. Oh, well, now this guy is doing touching too. Yeah. That is touching. Look how cute. Touch her. Enjoy her. I mean, what's wrong there? <laughs> Unbelievable! Uh, the hippie Muhammad, touch her. Your wife, she like. Uh, you know what? I think Muhammad he wanted to know the address of this guy so he can join the club. You know what I mean? Like, where do you live, man? Which, what, what is the name of your wife? Uh huh. So she don't mind anyone to touch her, huh? Okay, give me the address, please. Uh huh. She is beautiful. What is that? Very, very good teaching. Very good teaching. And don't forget that he allow muta women. They can rent themselves, and he can a man. He can rent a woman. Uh, you know, uh, uh, three days, three night. If you like to expand, expand. Where is the hadith? <clears throat> Let us see if we can't find the hadith about enjoying women three days, three nights. Read with me carefully. Same story. Allah Apostle, this is Sahih Bukhari, they can't say it's weak and the garbage, you know. Allah Prophet says, Nikahul Muta, sexual joy, one stand, one night stand, two night stand, three night stand. Allah Messenger said, if a man and a woman agree to what, tem where is the word temporary? It says to do Nikah, to do F each other. Their nikah should last for three nights. Man, not three nights non-stop, doing boom boom. Hippie. This is marriage in Islam. This is marriage. And if they like to continue, they can do so. And if they like to separate, they can do so. Look how open-minded he is. So you go to, and by the way, you have to pay the women. This is not just, a, this is not love. This is just a lost. A man want to have sex, the woman she want to have the money, they exchange the product. She give her private part, take off her panty, he give the money. This is what the muta is. Don't, don't think this is about a guy dating a woman, no. Don't think this is like two, uh, uh, two individuals uh, in love uh, and they are dating, no. It's just a pure sexual conduct. As you see, three days, three nights. If you want to enjoy more, increase. It's okay. So they wear, they force their women to wear burqa, but Islam is not a version of decency. Where is decency here? 
Burka, but she sleep every three days with a new husband. The Muslim, they will say, no, CB, are you stupid, CB? She have to wait for three months. Like, suppose, you know, they fix it. <laughs> no, she have not, she don't have to wait because now you can prove if she is having a child or not by going, by, by taking, uh, uh, she can go to the bathroom and she can test herself immediately. So she don't have to wait three months for the second uh, practice of muta. The three month period is just to be sure that she is not having a baby from the one who she slept with. Because Islam is a stupid, Allah, he think that women, she can still be carrying a child even after three months of having menstruation. Right? <clears throat> yeah, at least she is working and having a job, correct? She's making money. You know, your, your, your daughter, she come back home and she said, Daddy, look how much money I made. How much? $100. Really? For how, how you made it so fast? 10, 10 minutes, Daddy, 10 minutes. I found a guy from Saudi Arabia. He saw, he, saw, he saw me in the elevator. He told me how much you charge. I told him $100 for 10 minutes and we did muta. By the time we arrived to the 40th floor, we are done. He was a rabbit. She opened the elevator, she go inside the house, and now she is a decent woman. She did according to Allah what is lawful. And yet they claim that uh, Western women are not decent. Christian women are not decent. Hindu women are not decent. Atheist women are not decent. And they are the one who is decent. And not only that, actually, even their Islamic website, they explain this action by saying those are rented women. Have you ever, can you even believe how open-minded this cult is? Rented women? They did beat San Francisco a long time ago. Look at this. This is alislam.org. This is their website, not my website. This is an article written by them. Women are considered as the muta is rented women read carefully with me they are employee they are employed <laughs> they are what employed all right let's see the formula there's a formula too uh, read with me carefully the situation here is the same with the contract conclude the purpose of rental since as we pointed out above that women take the certain legal uh, uh, credit strikes for, for rented property. So what does that mean? Women here, they are renting themselves. They are what? They are renting themselves. And look at the expression. You have to say to her, I have rented you. That's very romantic. You go to the woman, you say to her, I have rented you. And she have to answer, I have lent to you. I mean, do you see the decency? Guys, do you see it? You have to say to the girl, I have rented you. And she have to accept and say, I have lent to you. She is lent in what? Her private part. He is renting what? Her private part. This is Islam. No, CP. It doesn't say that, CP. I had rented you. And look here, they're explaining, explaining how the declaration have to be. Oh boy. Some more special term applied to women who participate in the mustajara uh, uh, or rented women. Muta are considered as a kind of rental because general man basic aim is kind of uh, uh, marriage is sexual enjoyment of a woman and in return of this joy, women, she receives certain amount of money or, her, or property. 
So what uh, what you do? You go and you tell her, I want to have sex with you. Politely, please. Don't be rude. Pleasure. Don't be rude, brother. And then she, she ask her, how much you charge sister? Because she's a decent sister, you know. She's sister. All right? Then if she said to you, like, let's say, $100 or $10, depend, you know. Then if they agree, uh, you say to her, you have to say those words, I have rented you. I have given you the, uh, the, the position. I have given you as a gift, which means the money. I have rented you. And then the woman, she have to answer, say, I lent you myself. Take me, baby. It's not Quran. No, this is coming from the Quran. Quran chapter 4 verse 24 is about the mutah. But here there's more details about what you say. This is coming from the Quran. Chapter 4 verse 24. Should I put a sign in my door says women for rent? <laughs> The police will arrest me immediately. You see, even if you are in America, you cannot do that. In America, the most free country in the world, if you put a sign that says women for rent, you will be arrested immediately. Do you know that? In America, this is one of the most countries that give you freedom in the world to do things. If you put a sign in your door that says women for rent, you will be arrested. Because obviously this is prostitution. Actually, this guy, his name is Fifi. Uh, uh, he said that Christian Prince, he called me son of Muta. Big words. So he is saying clearly that Muta is an insult. Muta is a prostitution. So what kind of a prophet he allow Muta if it's prostitution then? How you follow such a man? So you're upset for me calling you son of Muta, but you are not upset your prophet making you one? Because he made your mother, you know, lawful for renting? I rented you. Hmm? Anyway, anyway, guys, I'm. Um, I, I think we have enough for today. I hope you have a good knowledge, and you learn something good. Uh, feel free to download the videos. I don't keep them for long in my page, as you know share them with your friends and i will try to come back again later at night today because i love you how many of you want me to come back we have 700 people watching only but it's okay how many of you like me to come back at night let us see maybe you don't miss me hmm. only one oh, two Three. Okay, three is enough. But here we go. That's Trinity. Here we go. I mean, Muhammad, he shake hand three times. He say Allah Akbar three times. He, he repeat the same word three times. And people like me to come three times. What do you want more? And the hadith says, if you want to enjoy a woman three days, three nights. How many? I mean, this guy, he practiced Trinity everywhere. Even, even six is three times. Three days, three nights. Unbelievable. All right, guys. Thank you very much. I really love you all. I will try my best to come back at night if I can. If not, then we'll see you tomorrow. God is willing. If I can, do it tomorrow. Uh, my my love to all of you. And we love Muslims. We are not here against the Muslims. We are here to expose the cult of Islam. Muslims are people like us. They are misleaded, misguided, and they need our help. So my friend, if you are a Muslim listening to my videos, they try to make you hate me. And say to you that Christian Prince he is teaching bad things about you. I'm not talking about you. None here in the conversation about you. Uh, there is uh, uh, Muslims. They they edit my tape. They say Christian Prince. He said Muslim women they are full of AIDS. I was answering a person who said that Christian women. This is why he, Christian Prince is not married because uh, Christian women are full of AIDS. I said I said in fact AIDS is spread more between Muslims because as you see temporarily. Many partners, four wives you have at home. Then you do muta. 
You go back home. Let's say you have three wives at home. You do muta. She is have eight. She slept with many men. That's what she do for a living. You go back home. You sleep with the other three women, and now they will carry a child from you. So your wives will have AIDS. You will have AIDS, and your sons will have AIDS. So Muslims they attack Western women. They say Western women they have AIDS. Christian women they have AIDS. There's no nowhere AIDS is spread as much in Islamic countries because of the practice of Islam. So they try to misquote me, lying about what I'm saying. And the purpose is to make you be upset. But the fact, you know, all, you know, go and see who is number one customers for sex tourism in, in Thailand and Ramadan. Saudi Arabia, Emirates, Bahrain, what they do there? Night club. Okay, what, what they will get back home with them when they come back? Hmm? What they will get with AIDS? They are sex tourists. What you will have? What you will bring with you back from Thailand if you are going to the bars, and you are a sex tourist? So when you say Christian women have AIDS, you are lying, because AIDS have no religion. Well, you know, you sleep around, you will get AIDS. Doesn't matter if you are a Christian or a Muslim or a Hindu or a Buddha. But Islam practice support that. Because as you see, multi sharing, changing a spouse as, as, as easy as a change in a shoe. Actually, uh, Muslims, they, they, they allow divorce by sending a text message. So you have four wives at home. You go to Thailand. You sleep around. You go back and you sleep with them. And then they give you four children. And then the children have AIDS. And the wives have AIDS. And the whole family have AIDS. And yet they claim that they are the most decent society. AIDS infect everybody. If you don't, you know, if you if you if you are a person, and by the way, AIDS can can come to a person who is decent, did not do anything wrong. Like the wife, the man he go to those countries, he do sex uh, tourism, he get AIDS, he come back, he stay with his wife, his wife she have AIDS. Not because she did anything wrong. She slept only with her husband. But because the husband is filthy. And all Muslims who they are listening, they knew that nobody do sex tourism as Muslim men who go to Thailand, Philippines. You know, they don't know anything about Egypt except the night club. They don't know anything about Turkey except the night club. Al Bosnia. They are number one customer. Go ask any one of those those countries who is number one customers. You know, when I went in the in the in the uh, in the Philippines, I was surprised that uh, there is uh, uh, those Filipino hookers. When you walk in the street, they say to you, they speak to me in Arabic. Hi, Habibi. I mean, how how they knew Arabic? They knew Arabic. They are speaking to me in Arabic. Do you want to go with me, Habibi? Because the customers are Arab, and actually they like Arab customers money a lot of money and most of the time they are drunk they don't know what they are paying they don't know even what they are getting and then they speak about decency about western women christian women asian women how bad they are and the muslim women she's wearing hijab morocco tunisia you name it uh, you know there's an actor his name uh, uh Adil imam very well known famous he's a muslim too uh, in the in the in the like he have an act the judge he said to him why you did not move from the building when you learned that there is a a, a, a billy dancer in, in the in the top of you in your building he said sir if every Egyptian he move out of the country because there's a billy dancer that's mean the whole country have to move out but you go to Egypt if a Christian they want to build a church a war would go but billy dancer it's okay Believe the answer is okay. But building a church? No, haram. The whole Muslim. I never saw a sheikh upset from the belly dancers. To the point, not only they have belly dancers, they have belly dancing in the street. Let me let me see if I can show you something before we go. Uh, <clears throat> What they call it? Hold on. Okay.
I'm not going to show you everything in the you know in the screen. I mean, it's really crazy, guys. This is Egypt, and this is in the street. This is what they do in the street in the stage. Look what the woman she is wearing. Do you see it? This is in the street. This is not in a private party. This is dance in the street. They make like they put rags in the street. They make a stage. And this is what women they do wear in the stage. And nobody gets it. Nobody. Look at this. Those are dancers in the street. In Egypt. They better stop here. It's getting getting ugly. Uh, let us see if I can find you something a little bit uh, more decent. <clears throat> well I can't find something decent sorry I better stop here anyway so if you build a church and the news is spread that you are building a church Allahu Akbar the sheikhs will go in the mosque they will make a speech against the Christians and then they go they get angry and they burn the church and they kill the people there but look Billy dancers everywhere dancing in the street naked and not a single Muslim sheikh get upset very hypocrite society anyway guys uh, I better stop here and don't forget to download the videos today by the end of the day I'm going to clean many of my videos take them down so if you want them to have to be in your channel you better download them before we take them down so thank you very much for being here may the Lord bless you and until we see you uh, soon again I pray that uh, you know none of us will be deceived and none of us will be lied to and fooled for the devil always is waiting for victims and you are the one who victimize yourself the devil he cannot victimize you he cannot you know you are the one who make a decision how the devil he can take action toward you You have to give him the key and Islam is one of the keys of deception and to be a fool thank you for being here may the Lord bless you we pray for the Muslims love the Muslim don't hate them uh, they are deceived they've been lied to and they think the other one is right and they think you are the bad person so uh, you have to work in that direction and this is what we do here Thank you and get the plus. See you soon. Bye-bye.